all okay so if you start by sketching out the shape of a wing you can either copy the shape that I'm sketching out in this video or you can copy the shape of a picture of a wing from the lesson PowerPoint. Remember to, sh to sketch lightly your shape first before going over with your pencil. This way, if you make a mistake, you can rub it out easily. Once you've sketched out your shape and you're happy with it, then I would like you to go in and add some details that you can see in your wing. So in my example, I'm just adding some details around the edge of the wing before going in to add some compartments. Now, what I mean by compartments is that if you look very closely at the pictures of the insect wings, you will see that they're broken off into different sections by tiny little veins think about that when draw when sketching out your insect wing you draw out the different compartments from little veins and then you shade the different compartments just like when we were drawing our leaves in the last project Now, depending on what picture of an insect wing you are copying will depend on how big or how small you draw your little compartments. In my example, I'm drawing quite large compartments with some smaller compartments around the edges. However, you might prefer to copy a photo of a wing that has smaller compartments and that's fine it just means that you will have each of those smaller compartments to add your shading to the side of the wing that is closest to the body of the insect will be the thinnest side of the wing and the thin side of the wing is where your lines and details should stem from so your lines that come from the thinnest side of the wing should come upwards and then out into your wings and that is because it is that part of the wing that connects to the insect's body. When it comes to shading, the translucent compartments of your wing, it's much easier if you observe where the light and the dark sections of that wing are. So in this example I've drawn a jagged line around the section that is the lightest part of that compartment and then I'm going in and shading the darkest area so this is the area that the light doesn't hit. So this section I will put the most pressure on my pencil to create a nice dark shadowed section.
once I have applied the pressure to the, that section to create a nice dark shadow, I then blend out that dark section into the lighter part of that compartment by releasing the pressure on the pencil and shading over the darkness into the lighter section. Now very lightly with your pencil, shade over the light section of that compartment. So really, really lightly with your pencil, shade over that lighter section. And here you'll be able to blend again over that line between the lighter and darker sections. Once you have managed to get a, a nice blend of your tones in that compartment, you then need to re-highlight the lighter parts of that compartment. So using a rubber, you can rub out where the light hits that section. It's a lot easier to do this with a smaller rubber. If you have a rubber on the back of a pencil, it's really useful to get in smaller sections. Another way that you can use your rubber to create the light and darkness of a compartment on one of these wings is by shading the entire section really, really lightly in one tone so really really lightly shade that whole section with one tone then instead of mapping out the light and dark sections with a line you then just go in with your pencil and apply more pressure in the areas that are darker in that compartment so add more pressure over the darker areas, blending it into that base tone that you have just applied to the section. Remember, to blend these tones together, you just release the pressure as you are shading from the darker section to the lighter section and this should blend those tones together. Once you've completed a nice blended area of dark and light tones, go back in with your rubber to highlight those extra sections where the light hits that compartment. Observing the light and dark sections when drawing something translucent is very important. Because the lighter sections show that you can see through that object, that the light passes through that object and it tells us that it is translucent. 